Welcome to Easy A Homeschool Academy. Polar Animals. Life at the Poles. The polar regions of our planet are cold, vast, and beautiful. The average winter temperatures in the North Pole is negative 40 degrees Celsius or negative 40 degrees Fahrenheit, while at the South Pole, the average winter temperature is negative 60 degrees Celsius or negative 76 degrees Fahrenheit. While these might seem like very harsh conditions to live in, many species of animals call these regions home. Come along on this journey as we travel to the poles and learn about some of the animals living in these extreme environments. The northern polar region of the Earth is called the Arctic. It includes the North Pole and spans across North America, Europe and Asia. It is an ocean surrounded by land. The southern polar region is called Antarctica. It includes the South Pole. It differs from the Arctic as it is a land mass surrounded by the Southern Ocean. Now let's see what kinds of animals live and thrive in the Antarctic region. Adelaide Penguin Like the Arctic, Antarctica has a wide variety of creatures living there. The most recognizable are penguins. Eight species of penguins live in this region. Adelaide penguins are carnivorous birds that eat krill, fish, and squid. They have distinctive black and white feathers on their bodies and an orange bill. Emperor penguin. Emperor penguins can also be found in this region. They too are carnivores and both parents take care of their young much like other species of penguins. Emperor penguins have black feathers on their heads and backs, white feathers on their bellies, and a yellow trim around their necks. They are the tallest and heaviest species of penguins alive today. King Penguin The second largest of the penguin species are king penguins. They are similar in appearance to the emperor penguins, however, the cheek patch on the king penguin is a solid orange color and they have more orange feathers on their bodies. Emperor penguins have more of a yellowish coloration. One can also distinguish the two species as they rarely inhabit the same regions of Antarctica. They eat a variety of sea creatures. Chinstrap penguin. Chinstraps, as you can imagine, get their name from the narrow black band of feathers around their heads that make it look like they're wearing helmets. They are one of the most abundant penguin species and their diet is similar to other penguins living in the region. They are small birds when compared to other penguin species. They can be about 28 inches tall and weigh about 10 pounds. Gentoo penguins. Gentoo penguins are recognizable by a white band of feathers that runs across their heads. They are the largest penguins in the stiff-tailed family. Like other penguin species, parents must first hunt for food and will partially digest it before returning to the baby, also called a chick. The parent will then regurgitate the mixture and the chick will eat directly from the parent's bill. The mixture is sometimes called crop milk. Macaroni penguin. Another large penguin species found in Antarctica is the macaroni penguin. They are identified by orange plume feathers on their heads. They are the largest of the crested penguins. Like other penguins, they swallow stones which aids in digestion as the stones grind up the food in their stomachs. They spend a lot of time at sea, but like other penguins, will form large foraging colonies on the shore. Southern Rockhopper Penguin Rockhopper penguins are distributed in a variety of places in the Southern Hemisphere. Like other species, they eat different types of fish, krill, and shellfish. 
They are distinguishable by a crest of feathers on their heads. They are called rock hoppers because they hop on rocks as they move around their breeding grounds. Magellanic Penguin Magellanic penguins, like other penguins, take in a lot of seawater which their bodies cannot absorb. So, they excrete the extra salt through a special gland located near their eyes. They breed on the shores of warm beaches, but do spend time at sea in sub-Antarctic zones. Albatross Albatross are true seabirds. They can go for up to a year without touching land. They have the largest wingspan of any other bird today and will often glide above the ocean on the breezes. Unlike most creatures, they can drink seawater. They form colonies on land during the breathing season, and both parents care for the young. Snow Petrel Known as one of only three species of birds that breed exclusively in Antarctica, snow petrels are a beauty. They have white feathers, black eyes and beaks, and blue-gray feet. They eat fish, krill, and other sea creatures. Snow petrels have a special oil in their stomachs that they use to feed themselves on long trips. They also use it to feed their young and they use it to spray on predators trying to eat them. Cape Petrel A close relative to snow petrel are cape petrels. They have a black head, a black beak, and white patches on their wings. They eat crustaceans, squid, and fish. Antarctic Skua Found throughout the coastal regions of Antarctica and in several areas in the Southern Hemisphere, the Antarctic skua are excellent flyers. They look a lot like seagulls with a barreled chest, blue hooked bill and broad round wings. They eat fish, krill, eggs of other birds, crustaceans and carrion, which is the cane flesh from other animals. Snowy Sheathbill Referenced as nervous and skittish, the snowy sheathbill survives in this region by scavenging on whatever they can find to eat. They have a unique way of staying warm. They will often hop on one leg to warm up. They also fluff out their feathers to trap and keep warm air around their bodies. Arctic Tern The Arctic Tern, as mentioned before, spends time in both the Arctic region and the Antarctic region. They make one of the longest migrations on Earth. Blue Whale Many species of baleen whales can be found in the Antarctic region of the world. An example of such a whale is a blue whale. Blue whales are mammals that can be found in most of the world's oceans. They are carnivores and feed on shrimp-like creatures called krill. Blue whales are massive and are the largest animals to ever live on Earth. The tongue of a blue whale weighs as much as an elephant, while the heart is as big as a car. Fin Whale Baleen whales all feed the same. They eat small prey by straining the seawater and capturing plankton with plates in their mouths called baleen. They do not have teeth and therefore eat smaller prey. Another such majestic creature in the baleen family is the fin whale. They are the second largest animals on earth and they too can be found in the Antarctic region. They are fast swimmers and have a long, slender body. Southern Right Whale Like the whales mentioned before, Southern right whales are mammals and they all come to the surface to breathe water. This is another species of baleen whale that feeds on krill, the tiny shrimp-like creatures. Southern right whales are mostly dark gray or black. They often have colonies of parasites living on their heads. They too, like the other whales, have a layer of oily blubber under their skin which protects them from the extremely cold waters in this region of the world. Sea Sea whales are also in the baleen family and have a dark gray and slender body. 
They are fast swimmers and swim with their mouths open so they can trap tiny particles of food. They, like most whales, were hunted for their oil and meat. They are thankfully now protected and their population is recovering. Antarctic Minke Minke whales are considered small in comparison to other whales. They are either black or dark gray with a white underside. They also have white bands on their flippers. They are very fast swimmers. The minke whales found in the Antarctic region are diurnal feeders, which means they feed during the daytime, and they feed mostly on krill. Humpback whale. Humpback whales are powerful swimmers and are known for their enchantingly loud and beautiful songs. They can sing anywhere from 20 to 30 minutes and their music can be heard for great distances in the ocean. They make some of the most varied sounds in the animal kingdom. They, like the other whales mentioned before, are in the baleen family and are one of the more abundant species of whales found in the Antarctic region. Weddell Seals Seals are another group of animals thriving in the frigid regions of the Antarctic. The Weddell Seal, like the other animals mentioned previously, is highly adapted for this region. They stay warm thanks to their blubber and swim around under the Antarctic ice. They are mammals, so they must come up for air through holes and cracks in the ice. They feed mostly on fish and squid. Fur seal. An interesting fact about seals, once again, is that some are earless, while others have visible ears on the sides of their heads. Fur seals are a species of eared seals. They use their front flippers to sit up straight, walk, and run. Their thick fur and blubber under their skin keep them warm and dry. They feed on krill, fish, and squid. Elephant Seal Elephant seals are very big and get their name from the large proboscis or trunk-like snout seen on the adult males. The adult males use their proboscis to make loud roaring sounds. Elephant seals are earless and the ones in this region are blue-gray in color. They eat a lot of fish and squid. Crab Eater Seal The crab eater seals are by far the most abundant seal species in the world. They are earless seals found along the Antarctic coasts. They can be seen on pack ice resting or socializing in groups. Though their name suggests otherwise, they do not eat crabs. They instead eat krill, the shrimp-like creature abundant in this region. Leopard Seal The second largest seals found in this region is the leopard seal. They are known for eating the young of crab-eater seals. They get their name from the patterns found on their fur. They are large, very strong and are dark gray in color. Leopard seals are very vocal underwater and the males can produce extremely loud calls. Krill. One of the key species in the Antarctic ecosystem is krill. As mentioned before, most if not all the animals in this region depend on krill as a source of food. Krill belong to the invertebrate group and are some of the most successful organisms on the planet. They feed on phytoplankton, which is a microscopic algae found in the sunlit region of most oceans. Krill can grow to about 2.5 inches and sheds the exoskeleton that covers its body many times as it grows. They swim in large groups called swarms. Without krill, many of the animals previously mentioned would not survive in this region. Next time you think about the polar regions, remember they are more than vastly cold and harsh environments. The polar regions provide a home for an amazingly varied group of animals. Here, these uniquely beautiful creatures are able to thrive and survive 
in one of the most amazing ecosystems in the world. As always, thank you for watching. Tell us what you want to see next. Email EZA Homeschool Academy at yahoo.com. Like and share our videos. Please subscribe to our channel.